Okay, see, I turned my LTSS application in a long time ago, man. I don't know what I got to do now. You know what I mean? So listen, if this is your question, if this is your loved one's question, stick around to the end, and I promise you, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about what you got to do to get into the program, all right? So look, if you don't know who I am by now, my name, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home health care guide. You know what I mean? My tongue be twisted up a little bit, but don't worry about that. So look, who I like to help? I love to help financially challenged family members become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. And listen, we doing all of this so other people can enjoy some paychecks. You know what I mean? It's no fun if you got to take care of somebody and, you know, you, you financially going downhill at the same time. You know, it's like an oxymoron. You know what I mean? Now, look, I'm on the air. So while I'm on the air, y'all can text me. I just got a nice text. So look, while I'm on the air, if you want a question, if you got something that you want to know, all you got to do is text me, 302-689-3240. I promise I answer all your questions while I'm on a live, you know? Now look, I'm only doing that because it's a lot of people that are always contact me when I get off the air. I got like 2,000 friends, but I know like two people who, if they, if they see the broadcast, they honestly got enough heart to say, yo, KC, I need that. So... I'm doing this this text line thing for you, man. You, you don't want to put your questions directly into the comments, man. I'm doing this for you. So look, you got a relative or maybe you yourself have turned the application in. You probably been watching the show. You heard me say, look, it's only one way to get a paid caregiver into your house. That's make sure you're in the Medicaid long-term health care program. Now, you're trying to get into the program, you done put your application in, you know what I mean, you submitted it, you're waiting on the results, what do you do? What do you do? Good question. Now, under normal circumstances, you know, I guess they just want you to sit around and wait, you know what I mean, twiddling your thumbs. A lady called me today and she asked me the same question. She said, KC, I put my application in uh, yesterday like you told me, and they told me, give them 30 days. What do I do now? Well couple things I want you to do. Number one, if you put your application in and you don't know your status or where you stand at, I'm going to need you to call me. I got some good friends over there at Medicaid LTSS office who like to, you know, give me updates on what's going on with a lot of my clients and future clients. You know what I mean? You know, I'm well connected, man. That's all it is. You know, that's the first thing I want you to do. Call me. You're not getting no results. You need to call me. You need what's called a patient advocate. And that's what I am. I'm an advocate. All I really do is I help you. I help you get into the program. I walk you through the process. Once you get in, I'm going to help you turn your loved one into a paid caregiver. Now, look, if you're on here with me live, hashtag live. If you're on here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. If you're here with me and you like this kind of talk, you know what I mean? Give me a couple hearts. Give me a couple uh, Give me a couple wow faces. You know, KC liked them wow faces, you know. Give me whatever it is you got for me. So, turn your application in, now you're basically in limbo. See, I'm going to tell you the process. You turn it in to them. Hopefully, you called and you did a referral over the phone and you got your application in on time. Now, I tell people, look, if you need to put your application in, call down there and tell them, yo, it's COVID time, man. You know, we can't come in there right now. So, we'd like to start this application over the phone. Now, if you talk good enough, they'll move the process forward for you. If you if your talk game ain't right, you may gotta call me because they're gonna tell you something like, oh well, we'll put in a referral for you and then we'll mail you out an application. You know what I mean? Something like that. But look, we're going straight to the top. If you call me, we're putting that application in over the phone. It's imperative that during the beginning of that the next beginning of the next month, we be in this program. All right. So all the people basically that I gave this information to last month, they really gonna to benefit today. You know. When you call the case manager, you ask, what's the holdup? They say, well, we got to get the paperwork in. They got to disseminate the information to the case managers. They got to sign case managers to the case. Blah, blah, blah. They got to do this. They got to do that. whole lot of bureaucracy. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if I said that word right. But it's a whole lot of stuff that, you know, they, they, they plan. They plan. But I'm going to tell you a secret. I'm going to tell you a secret. Probably won't nobody else tell you this unless we catch your case manager that you know because they're not going to admit this. Look. When you turn the application in and it actually gets accepted, they put it into the computer, you're already in. They know who your case manager is going to be. Now, they're not going to tell you who the case manager is going to be, but they already know who the case manager is going to be. They do this every day. So, 
You know what I mean? All it's just a matter of uh aligning your application to the proper person who's over top of your case already. Or, you know, in the LTSS program, the, the perfect case manager for you. So look, if you're here with me now and you feel like, you know, your application been in too long and I need some help, yo, hit me with a wow face, you know. Hit KC with some of them hearts, you know, some of them likes, that little bit of that Facebook good love, you know what I mean? Whatever you got to do, make sure you share this information. It's a lot of people online every day that's like, look, I don't know what to do. I got my, uh, I got my application in and it just ain't moving nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Also, you know, if you're here with me and you're on another platform, let's say YouTube, make sure you like to this, make sure you subscribe to this, hit that little bell Get the notifications whenever we go, you know, go live or whenever a video is uploaded. You can soon, you know, you can get access to it straight at it. Straight at it. You know what I mean? So the best thing I could tell you, man, it's it's like it's like an ancient Chinese secret, man. The best thing I could tell you to do is call me. Pick up the phone. You got you got players. You got pieces. See, see, we playing this game like it's checkers and we, we making big moves and it ain't working and we getting frustrated. But you got to play this game like it's chess. You got the number one advocate in your corner. That's Kion Church. That's Mr. KC. He going to go hard for you in the paint. You know what I mean? Miss Ludi, how you doing today? If you're here with me in a live, hashtag live. you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. You know, also don't be afraid to share this broadcast because I'm sure, I'm quite sure you have a, uh, that's the director calling me. She going to be mad because I hit the button on her. But look. If we on a live, you got to text me, 302-689-3240. You know what I mean, Director Ivy, I'm sorry. We on a live right now. I got I got all the good people who need this good Medicaid, in-home health care, long-term service. You know, all this, all these, you know, good questions on the line right now, so we can't stop. So, you know, getting back to what I was saying, we're not playing checkers. We're playing chess. And right now, I'm, I'm, I'm at the baseline, and I'm, I'm ready to uh, take it to your case manager and let them know, look, we need to move this paperwork along fast. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do, man. I really just call people every day. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people, they can't get through on the phone. A lot of people get frustrated. They're like, look, KC, I've been on the phone with these people for like three, four hours. Hold on a second. Yeah, uh, is this church case manager? Yeah, look. They said they put that uh, that application in, that good application. We need to know where it's at. You know what I mean? That's all I do right there, man. That's it. Yo, I got a lot of connects over there, man. If we're trying to move your paperwork, you know, a little faster, that's how we do it, you know? Hashtag if you're with me live. Hashtag if you're with me on a rebroadcast, all right? If you got any good in-home health care questions, you know what I mean? You want to know uh, what's the three steps to getting long-term Medicaid? You want to know how can you get your, your loved one, you know, taken care of, a.k.a. get them a check, put the paycheck in their pocket, you know, let me know. I got all types of solutions, and I got the answers to the questions you just haven't asked them yet, you know what I mean? So, if you got a good question that maybe benefits you or somebody else, type it in the comments, text it to me, do what you got to do. But I can't answer it until you tell me what it is, you know what I mean? I'm here, I'm here at your disposal. I'm here for your help, all right? So, look. Hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast, and make sure you share this broadcast because it's a lot of people on here that need to know what's going to happen after I put my application in. And I got to go, but I'm going to tell you, what's going to happen when you put it in? They're going to make you wait. They're going to make you wait. They're going to make you wait. Your mind going to be wondering. Lots going to be going on. What do I suggest? I suggest you call me and I'll figure it out for you. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Look, I love you. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that, you know, taking care of somebody else is bad business. We doing this to get our blessings. You feel me? So if you with me, man, I love you. And uh, no need for you to suffer any longer because I'm going to find out where that application at so we can get you some paid caregivers. All right? Talk to you.